Hey there, fight fans. In today's video, Dana White has unleashed his fury on Marab Davalashvili, who sustained a serious cut above his left eye prior to the highly anticipated title fight against Sean O'Malley. Now, the news has also disappointed O'Malley, who suggested that the fight might now be in jeopardy. Additionally, Tom Aspinall responded to John Jones's statement, in which Jones announced that he does not plan to hold a unification fight with the Brit and will retire after his bout with Stipe Miocic. There's no way on earth that he's going to fight me. Not a chance. I will retire John Jones without even fighting him. Furthermore, Dana White addressed Magomed Ankalaev, explaining what Ankalaev must do to earn a light heavyweight title fight. And then at the end of this video, Andrew and Tristan Tate were raided again today facing even darker accusations. But before we kick off the video, I want to remind you that it takes just one second to like and subscribe to the channel, so thank you in advance. Now, Marab Davalashvili recently stirred concern among his fans after sharing a distressing video on social media showcasing a significant cut that he sustained. <laughs> well, let's go, guys. Let's go. It's all right. Things happen, but we still going forward. Everything is good, my friends. Um, it's happening all the time. This is nothing. Just we're getting stitched out and make sure I can continue training tonight, tomorrow, all week. I feel great. O'Malley, he is in big trouble. These little cuts only gonna make me stronger. Yes, Georgian Mexican power raid. I was doing uh, wrestling and, uh, and I should I hit to the hips. So it wasn't punch or something. This comes just as he is slated to compete against Sean O'Malley for the bantamweight title at the anticipated UFC 306 card in mid-September. Now the stakes are high and the possibility of Marab withdrawing due to his injury has caused quite a stir within the MMA community. But Davalashvili has assured his followers and opponents alike stating nothing changes. On September 14th, I will go for the belt, as per his post on X. Sean O'Malley, you are in big trouble, my friend. Stop talking too much, bro. You know I'm dangerous, and then you know, you know what's gonna happen. You already know. You already know, and I wanna tell all these people everything is good. This is my third training session today. I got a little cut today, but this is part of the training. This is nothing. I'm here with my team, training every day, like I said. This is my third time training session today. And then uh, I'm here, I'm coming. I'm with my team here. Let's go, guys. Thank you for the, all the help. I'm here in the gym 24 seven, guys. And working, you think this little cut gonna stop me? I don't understand. I guess you guys are weak and you guys are making excuse whoever talking too much. Now, Sean O'Malley also commented on Marab's injury, stating that little damn rat better not pull out of the fight. I swear to God. The history of the UFC has seen its fair share of last-minute fight cancellations, often due to the disappointment of fans and fighters alike. So the community is hoping that this will not be the case for UFC 306. Marab, who is famous for his fearless and sometimes reckless antics like his notorious jump into a lake and tree climbing, needs to perhaps approach his physical activities a little more cautiously, especially when he is so close to a critical match. Good life. Good life. The published video did not delight Dana White either, who then lashed out with some harsh criticism at Marab. I don't, our guys are so dumb, it's, it's next level unbelievable. It, it's one, the, all the stuff that I talk about boxing, what I will give boxing is when something happens in a camp, man, let me tell you what, it does not leak, you know, our guys can't can wait to throw it up on social media. It's just, it's a small cut, it's no big deal, but uh, obviously needed to be posted. Against, against a guy like O'Malley, who's a sharpshooter and who's a very accurate puncher, now all of a sudden there's a big target for him. And why the f would you want him to know that? It is, 
next level stupid. Some of these guys are so stupid, it's, it's mind-boggling. It's unbelievable. Now, as the fight date approaches, all eyes will be on Marab to see if he can maintain his health and meet O'Malley in the octagon. This is a pivotal moment in his career, and missing this opportunity could be a significant blow, not only to him, but also to the very eager audience that has been awaiting this thrilling fight. This is my dream fight, and this is the perfect time to fight him. And uh, what's going to happen is now, now I'm going to show everybody my striking. You know? And uh, yeah, I have a recipe, but now I want to prove my striking, and I want to go punch face because yeah, he thinks I'm gonna wrestle no I'm, I'm gonna punch but what do you all personally think about this leave your thoughts down in the comments now John Jones has confirmed that he will be retiring after his fight with Stipe Miocic title holder Tom Aspinall Jones made the announcement on social media addressing a recent interview by Aspinall in which Aspinall claimed to have retired Jones without having a fight. He emphasized that he is no longer interested in random fights and that he is sticking to his plan of not chasing anyone. Jones urged Aspinall to focus on winning more fights and making a name for himself rather than trying to claim victory over him. He also expressed his desire to retire on a high note and join the ranks of other retired sports legends like Tom Brady and Floyd Mayweather. Aspinall was quick to respond to Jones, saying, please do not forget to hand me the belt on the way out of the octagon if you beat Biden. Aspinall posted on social media. Now, according to the UFC plan, Tom Aspinall, who will be serving as the backup fighter for the title fight between Jones and Stipe, is scheduled to be taking place on November 16th at UFC 309 in New York. Therefore, there is still a very slight possibility that if Stipe were to withdraw, Aspinall would step in and face Jones. When you talk about who's the baddest dude in the world, you put two guys in a room and who walks out, John Jones walks out of the fucking room every time. Exactly right, Dana. We need to get John in a room first. Let's go and find the room. Hello, John. John. John? Hello, John? Oh, boy. John! John! It was at this moment that he knew. Sorry, mate. I thought you were someone else. Sorry. John? Slippy, slippy. Well done, Hugo. Good wizard. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what. The UFC CEO has laid out a clear path for Magomed Ankalaev to secure a title shot in the light heavyweight division. According to Dana White, Ankalaev, who is currently ranked second in the division, must deliver a dominant performance against Austrian Alexander Rakic. A victory in this matchup would then position Ankalaev to face the winner of the upcoming title fight between Alex Perea and Khalil Roundtree. He emphasized the importance of a spectacular win over Rakic, which would solidify his position as the next contender for the title. Ankalaev's got a fight lined up. Go in there, do your thing, look great. Obviously, you're next. Andrew and Tristan Tate have found themselves under police scrutiny once again, just two days after making some controversial statements comparing Israel to the Matrix. The Tate brothers' home was raided by Romanian authorities. The raid conducted by the Directorate for Investigating Organized Crime and Terrorism is part of a new investigation into the brothers. This latest development has fueled speculation that the recent events are not mere coincidences, but rather a coordinated attack against the Tate brothers. Many are questioning the depth of the allegations against the Tates and the extent of the investigations. 
The timing of the raids, coupled with the increasingly serious nature of the accusations, has raised some eyebrows and left many wondering what other secrets may be lurking beneath the surface. But what do you guys all think about this? Leave your thoughts down in the comments.